No way. Are they really bringing this game back? Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How are y'all doing? <laughs> Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. We're about to hit you with some flames. Fire, fire, fire. Another fire video from your boy. All right. Oh, my goodness. Santa Monica Studios has all but confirmed they're going to be a part of the PlayStation 5 event coming this Thursday. But that's that's not all the news. There's, there's more news on the event coming. But let's tackle this one first. Bro, this is probably, I say probably, one of Sony's better uh, first party studios. I say one of because I... This is, what you, this is what you get about my channel. I have to keep it a buck, bro. I'm an Xbox fan. I played through my Xbox backlog. And then I started playing through my PlayStation backlog. And I have to keep it a buck. It's been night and day as far as the quality of the games on both consoles. My thing is really um, buffering? Come on. There we go. It's been night and day as far as the quality of games. I've beaten Final Fantasy VII Remake. That alone was better than any Xbox exclusive I, 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 I played. Then I played Horizon Zero Dawn. That alone was better than any exclusive I played on my Xbox. And then I played Spider-Man. Better than any exclusive Xbox had last gen. I play through, I'm playing through Little Big Planet 3 right now. I'm going to try to beat Little Big Planet 3 and um, God of War before um, Last of Us 2 drops on my gaming channel. I have a gaming channel, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. Go sub to that channel too. But bro, Santa Monica Studios is one, that's going back to my original point, <laughs> one of Sony's better first party studios. And Jeff Schroff of Santa Monica Studios, he tweeted, come join us as we get into the details about what the future has in store. And he tweeted out the PlayStation event Thursday. Santa Monica, that's them. Usually, when a studio tweets about the event, they got something, something to show. One of two games come to mind. Of course, when you hear Santa Monica... The obvious title is God of War. I'm about three hours into this game. I'm going to start from the beginning um, when, I, when I start playing it. Probably today or tomorrow. Tomorrow I should start it. Bro. The obvious title would be God of War. That's what the studio is known for. I love God of War on my PlayStation 3. Um, God of War 3 was probably my favorite God of War. When you start off on the back of, who is it, Poseidon? Bro, on the back of a Titan, the, the God, it was a crazy... That's how the game started, bro. So, God of War, that's the obvious choice as to what game they're going to be showing. I'm in for God of War 2 because they, they sort of re reset it and start over just God of War. So, the next one will probably be God of War 2. I'll be here for that. That would be lit. I wouldn't be mad. But a lot of dudes forget they helped... They helped to make this game right. Oh, that wasn't my video buffering. That's the actual Sony trailer. It was buffering. <coughs> they helped to make this game. Santa Monica Studios were in the game developers, along with, I think, Superbot Entertainment for PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. I would be more hyped for this game than a God of War game. Bro, I had this game on my PlayStation Vita. 
I know dudes aren't gonna like this unpopular opinion, but this game was better than Super Smash Brothers. I like the fighting mechanics in this game more than Super Smash Brothers. Bro, if they announce a PlayStation Battle Royale game, I'd be hype, bro. That would be lit, man. Whatever they announce, I'm here for it. I'm super hyped for this event, man. I'm telling you, man, I'm trying to stay as neutral as I can to decide which console I'm going to get in the fall. Xbox Series X or the PlayStation 5. Right now, I have to be honest how I'm feeling. <coughs> I'm feeling with the PlayStation 5, I feel like I'm going to get a next-gen console. With the Xbox Series X, I have an Xbox One X. I feel like I sort of gonna, I'm going to have the same console with better um, specs. What do I mean? The whole, there's no incentive to upgrade for me right now because all of the games are going to be on both systems. On If I have an Xbox One X, I'm good for next generation too. So I'm in a quandary right now, bro. But I like the feeling of something new and fresh. But bro, um, I can't wait. Santa Monica Studios confirmed, confirmed. Well, they, they all but confirmed. They didn't outright say we have a game coming. But the developer tweeted the event. I can't wait to see what they show. Or it could be an all new IP. Something completely new. I'll be here for it because they're a quality studio. And you know they're going to make a lit game. All right. More information for. Speaking of the PlayStation 5 event. More information has been revealed two things two things you have to keep in mind of as you watch the event one it's going to be streamed in 1080p 30 frames per second now sony's excuse is um um because uh, they're working from home and to ease the develop the um, the the delivery of the conference um they're doing it at 1080p 30 frames per second i call mumbo jumbo this is why I think they're just saving themselves. Just in case somebody say, that game didn't look as clean as I thought it would be. Or, what was the frame? That frame rate didn't look as good as I thought. They could fall back on this excuse. That we streamed it in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Ha. Huh. <laughs> I think it's a good move, though. It saves themselves. Saves themselves from criticism. Um, but it's all about the games. I can't wait to see what game. So, one, it's going to be... 1080p 30 frames per second and two they're suggesting you watch it with headphones on one of the things mark cerny was talking about was the audio technology in the playstation 5 so i want to hear what's going on I, I have my headphones so i'm gonna hear it. it will be good i will be live streaming the event make sure you sub make sure your notifications are on you need to sub anyway to give in that get in that giveaway boy 60 dollars digital code playstation xbox nintendo switch your platform of choice um you got to subscribe and follow me on twitter all right um two more news items for this video Destiny, Destiny, the developers of Destiny has confirmed, Bungie has confirmed that Destiny 2 will be coming to the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and the game will be running at 4K 60 frames per second. I might actually get into Destiny um, because of that. I have to say, I played, I tried Destiny recently on my Xbox One X, and the first thing I noticed was 30 frames per second. A, sh a first person shooter can't run at 30 frames per second, bro. And so I, I stopped playing it. <laughs> Even though I'm, I'm not like a, a first person shooter aficionado, but that just annoys me right now, bro. It's 2020. Your game should be 60 frames per second minimum, bro. The only games I give, give excuse for for 30 frames are huge open world games. Because I get the huge environments, you got a lot going on. Huge open world games, I get. Huge open world adventure games, I give you a pass, uh, 4K 30. But everything else, 4K 60, bro. No excuses. And the last news item for this video, bad news for uh, if you have a Nintendo Switch account. Nintendo has confirmed that 140,000 more accounts have been hacked. And so, check your Nintendo Switch account for any um, unusual purchases. Um, and Nintendo is issuing refunds for any accounts that have been confirmed to be hacked. Um, they're saying um, that the breach um, access players' nicknames, date of birth, email addresses... 
um, and unauthorized digital purchases could have made could have been made through the eShop. So check, check, check that, bro. Don't let them take your money, bro. That's all I got for this video, bro. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi1Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.